For this problem, we have to prove that if a prime is the complement of a, then the probability of the complement is 1 minus the probability of a. And we're going to do it using um, the axioms of probability. So let me just briefly, briefly um, go over those. We have axiom 1, which basically says that the probability of any event is greater than or equal to 0. And this is for all, for all events a. Then we have axiom 2, which says that the probability of the sample space is 1. And then lastly, we have axiom 3, which says that if you have um, mutually exclusive events, say a1, a2, and so on, and you take the union of these mutually exclusive events, you get the sum of the probabilities of these mutually exclusive events. So let's go ahead and try to prove this. So proof. Okay, so the idea here is to somehow involve the number one and a and a prime. So the natural thing to do is to say, okay, the sample space is equal to everything in a and everything not in a, right? Because everything is either in a or not in a. So if you get both, you get everything. And note, let's just mention that uh, if you take the intersection of a with the complement of a, you get the empty set. So a and a prime are mutually exclusive. That's what it means to be mutually exclusive. All right, so now we're good to go. Now we'll just take the probability of you know both sides. So then, let's take the probability on the left-hand side, and that's equal to the probability on the right-hand side. So A union A prime. And now this is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of a prime and this is this is by axiom three this is axiom three it's because these are mutually exclusive so we can apply axiom three okay so note the probability of the sample space is one by axiom two so now what we'll do is we'll plug in the one into our equation here and we should be good so then Switch colors here, let's go back to yellow. We have one equals P of A plus the probability of the complement of A. And if you recall, uh, we had to show that the probability of the complement is one minus the probability of A. So now all we have to do is uh, subtract probability of A. So we'd get the probability of A complement is equal to one, mi one minus this piece. So one minus the probability of A. And that completes the proof. So not too bad. Um, you just have to know to, I guess, to use the axioms, obviously. That, that part is, you know, with, with these, that's what you're supposed to use. And then um, the, to get the one, when you see the one, you kind of know you have to use this. You say, okay, how can I write the sample space and how can I involve these? Well, just take the union. And yeah, it works out uh, really, really nice. We used uh, two of the three axioms for this. So interesting, right? We used, uh, let's see, what did we use? We used axiom three right here. And then we used axiom two uh, right here with the probability of S. So yeah, nice problem. Good luck.